this is the most astonishing thing that India is in the worst 10 countries in the global hunger index. And we have been falling further and further in that index. How do you do it when you have such huge, you know, uh, huge harvests and huge yields and a very significant availability of food grain? Think about it. Is the problem COVID-19 or is the problem are inequalities which stand the traditional class, caste, gender inequalities, economic inequalities, which have been further sharpened by the lockdown that has simply smashed the livelihoods of millions of people. We need to ask ourselves this question and think about it. You know, I hear every day debates on when can we get over this problem and go back to normal? And I keep saying normal was the problem. What what was normal for you and me? Was it normal for the migrant laborer? Was it normal for the toy makers of Murshidabad? Was it normal for the agricultural laborer of Bihar? Was it normal for the domestic servant, the woman coming from Pune and working in houses in Mumbai? Our normal was their nightmare. Now we are having to share their nightmare. And therefore we recognize it. The only framework from here on is not inclusive, inclusive development or exclusive development or smart cities or higher investment in something. The, from here on, all our problems have to be addressed to the through the prism of justice. Okay, food justice, the concept gaining ground is health justice, social justice. Please read those words in your constitution. What does your preamble say? Justice for all, social, economic and political. And I don't think it was an accident that they used the word social first. The way to fighting that inequality is there in your constitution. I only know Irish constitution and Indian constitution have this chapter the directive principles of state policy, the right to food, the right to work, the right to shelter, the right to health. If you look, if you look at the em emphasis on employment rather than the emphasis on unemployment insurance, you'll make a great, make a great difference.